Hey everyone, Cairo here with TCS Rockets, and today we are starting a new series where we'll look at various combo decks throughout Magic. Today's combo deck has been made possible by a new card in Core 2021 that'll go great in any mono red commander deck and even some legacy builds too. Be sure to watch the video all the way through to the end to see the winner of our Core 2021 booster box. Also, if you like the video, be sure to give us a like and click the subscribe button below. If you have any comments regarding the combo or have any recommendations for a combo deck, be sure to leave them in the comments section as well. With that being said, let's get into it. Core 21 has proven to be one of the better core sets in a long time, uh, maybe even better than M10, M11, and it introduced a ton of new powerful cards. One of them I want to talk about today is Conspicuous Snoop. Yeah. For those of you who are unaware, Conspicuous Snoop is a 2-mana two 2-2 two -two goblin rogue that reads, play with the top card of your library revealed. You may cast goblin spells from the top of your library. As long as the top card of your library is a goblin card, Conspicuous Snoop has all activated abilities of that card. Now, on paper, this card seems okay. Like, sure, I can activate one ability of a goblin per turn, or I can cast a few goblins from the top of my deck, but when we start looking at cards such as Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker and Skirk Prospector, it gets a little bit better. We'll start with Kiki Jiki. Kiki Jiki the Mirror Breaker is a 5 mana 2-2 two -two goblin with haste, and it has an ability that reads, put a token that's a copy of target non-legendary creature you control onto the battlefield. That token gains haste, sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. Conspicuous Snoop is not legendary, so it was more than happy to target itself, and because the copy will have haste, you can continue to do so, which would effectively allow you to make infinite Conspicuous Snoops. Master Skywalker, there are too many of them, what are we going to do? Which is nice, and it is a great way to trigger cards like Perforos or Impact Tremors that we'll get into in just a second. Another card I want to talk about is Skirk Prospector. Skirk Prospector is a 1 mana 1-1 one, one goblin with an ability that reads, Sacrifice a Goblin to add a red to your mana pool. So this would allow us to sacrifice our goblins with Conspicuous Snoop. <laughs> if Skirk Prospector is on top of our library, which could lead to a lot of mana, or infinite if we're able to combine that with the Kiki Jiki combo we mentioned earlier. <gasps> Asking, yeah, this is all fine and good, but how am I going to guarantee that I have these cards on top of my deck? Well, there's a handy dandy card from Visions named Goblin Recruiter. Goblin Recruiter is a 2-mana 1-1 one, one Goblin that reads, When Goblin Recruiter enters the battlefield, search your library for any number of Goblin cards and reveal those cards. Shuffle your library and then put them on top in any order. So, if we are setting up the Kiki Jiki combo, we can make it to where Kiki Jiki is the top card of our library, and then the card right below that is the Skirk Prospector. We could then activate Conspicuous Snoop, by tapping it to make a copy of itself. Then we would get a untapped copy of Conspicuous Snoop with haste, and it would still have the Kiki Jiki ability. We could then tap the Conspicuous Snoop again to make another copy, and so on and so forth. And as you see, through tapping Conspicuous Snoop, we can make copy after copy after copy after copy until we effectively have an inf infinite amount of Conspicuous Snoops. Then we can cast Kiki Jiki from the top of our deck, and we have Skirk Prospector. From there, we could use Skirk Prospector's ability to then sack all of those goblin tokens to make infinite red mana. Since Goblin Recruiter lets us put any number of goblins on top of our library, since we have now made infinite red mana, and Conspicuous Snoop, the original one, is still in play, we could then cast all of those goblins that we've put on top of our deck. If one of those goblins is Goblin Warchief, that will give all of our goblins haste, and we can set up a one-turn kill combo. This has been seeing a decent amount of play in Legacy, and is very powerful. It is definitely going to reshape that format, and maybe even make an impact in Modern. Now let's change gears a little bit and move on over to Commander. 
If we are playing our commander as Perforos, God of the Forge, for those of you who don't know, Perforos is a 4 mana 6 5 legendary enchantment creature god. It has indestructible, and as long as your devotion to red is less than 5, Perforos isn't a creature, which is usually an upside since a indestructible enchantment is much harder to remove than an indestructible creature. It also has an ability that reads, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Perforos deals 2 damage to each opponent. Then, for 2 and a red, creatures you control get plus 1 plus 0 until end of turn. Now, if we've made infinite red mana with Skirk Prospector, we can use Perforos' activated ability of giving our creatures plus 1 plus 0 until end of turn to effectively give our goblins infinite attack. However, more interesting, if Perforos is in play when we are making the copies of Conspicuous Snoop, Perforos will do 2 damage for each time we create a copy, which would be able to win any commander pod in one turn, being able to do infinite damage to all of your opponents. Now, a backup card for the same deck, if you are unable to necessarily get to 4 mana to cast Perforos, you could play Impact Tremors. Impact Tremors has a very similar ability. It is a 2 mana enchantment that reads, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, Impact Tremors does 1 damage to each opponent. So again, the same combo. It is 1 less damage than Perforos, but because we are doing it infinite times, it still is infinite damage. I find this combo to be very interesting and very fun. It opens up a new avenue for many mono red commander decks and has more than likely put Legacy Goblins back on the map. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any recommendations for a combo deck you'd like to see, be sure to comment it down below. And a big congratulations to Michael Robbins, who won our Booster Box of Core 2021. With that being said, I'm Cairo, and I'll see you next time.